to my channel. This is J Max Week X. Today I'm continuing the Queen of the Ratchet podcast. This is episode 22. Let's see what happens. So the Queen of the Ratchet is being sponsored by Lies. You hoes will believe Lies. anything that comes out in the media, but we want to tell True. you it's all fake news. We're also being sponsored by Receipts. Unless you hating ass bitches have them, keep your damn mouth closed. Get the hell out. I don't deal with bums. Listen up, hoes. This ain't your hoes. Run on out before I get my gun. <laughs> Well, Dana. That song is off of our latest album, Queen of the Ratchet, Ratchet Halloween. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, any musical streaming service you like. Go get your life. Shady, petty, ratchet ass queen. You keep talking mess, but you can't pull receipts. Hello, we're back, and I'm Coella DeVille from 101 Dalmatians. I'm Maleficent from Disney Sleeping Beauty. Lies, lies are all being spread in fairy tale land. I'm Tremaine from Disney Cinderella, and all I have to say is bottom feeders are always trying to get to the top. I'm too busy <laughs> counting my money and staying at the top to give a damn about an irrelevant hoe. Delusional. Of course you know who I am. I'm Medusa from Disney's The Rescuers. Your we don't know you. Your seems to be running rampant because I thought your bank account was in the negative, Medusa. Oh, Tremaine, I see I'm still keeping you up at night with all my wins. Damn. Stay mad about it, bitch. <laughs> the only thing I'm mad about is the smell of rotten scallops seeping through your vagina and covering up this whole room. Close your legs. <laughs> But your head is as bald as Charlie Brown And your face is as wrinkled as a raisin oh. Blame your genetics, ho You have the spirit of a slut That makes you want to cut a bit Cut me, ho, please, cut me My shotgun is always locked and loaded You think you the only one carrying around Y'all, hold on, before she keep moving with that When I was in college, we actually had buttons I, don't, I used to have it sitting here But we had this, um, this secret organization For me and like three of my friends Called WCB and when people would ask us about it, the PC answer was we create blessings, but it really stood for we cut bitches. <laughs> I had did a logo and everything, so that just spoke to my spirit. Coella, you better get your side kicked before this turns into a petty civil war. Speaking of petty civil wars, the petty election is vastly approaching and conspiracy theories are interfering with this petty election. Uh -oh. According to the Bible thumper that is Yzma, Coella and myself were sacrificing children, including the lost boys in hell. Without evidence or receipts to back up this fake news, Ooh. I just want to tell Yzma to shut the hell up. Why don't you tell it to me to my face? Blessed be the fruit and may the Lord open. Open. I told y'all everything in the dark will always make its way to the light. How the hell did you get past security, you <laughs> exoskeleton? Every petty presidential candidate that's involved in the petty election should be involved in the podcast. Spoken like a true backstabber. Don't you got another man to steal? Hades was never your man to begin with. You were using him and he was definitely using you. If I still wanted to be with Hades, I could still still be with Hades. Let's not get it twisted, okay? I left him. Girl, Hades was with me the whole time he was with you, which begs the question, was he really with you, bitch? Maleficent, I wouldn't even... Was he really with you? You know what? I hate you to think like that. Ursula, if you look up traitor in the dictionary, you'll find this treacherous hoe. Since when did you become the hero of this storyline? You're a broke bitch and you don't have a plan for being fairy tale president. Oh. What exactly is your plan if you win fairy tale president? Do you even have a plan, bitch? Because you damn sure don't know how to budget any money with your broke ass. Ursula, you make your money from walking the streets and posting on <laughs> OnlyFans, so I know you ain't talking about anybody. It's better to sell my coochie instead of opening it for free. By the way, maybe you should take your ass back to a clinic, ho. And this is why everybody doesn't need to be on the podcast. 
Yisma, you should have never ran for fairy tale president. I'm sorry, I don't need advice from a hoe that's up Cinderella's ass. No, what you really need is to be drowned in holy water. I can't wait to <laughs> spit on your grave. You gonna be waiting for a long time because I'm not done doing the Lord's work. I shut in a bow by. We'll see after I put this bullet in your ass. Oh, look at you, sidekick, making threats right before the election because you don't want me to expose your master. <laughs> Gizma, what is your purpose for being in my presence today, baby? I just want you to tell the truth what happened in hell so the petty audience makes a fair decision. Even if we did sacrifice the lost boys in hell, which we didn't, they still gonna vote for who they wanna vote for, and they ain't gonna vote for you, ho. I was gonna wait to bring on our special guest, but I can't do that any longer. Please introduce yourself. I'm here, I'm queer, and I'm ready to tear some bitches down. What? I am Petty Pan from Disney's Pizza Pan. <laughs> Peter, or should I say Petty Pan, I just want to thank you for taking the time out of your very fairy dust of a schedule to come onto my podcast. You know I would do anything for you, Cruella, you bitter broken hoe. Oh, have you been, B? Oh, you know, <laughs> carrying queen of the ratchet <laughs> on my back, but what else? Is new. Hey, Pan, you sound a little stuffy today. Still sniffing that fairy dust, I see. I knew I smelled rotten snow crabs when I entered the building. Her people, so how are you doing, bitch? You know, I'm tired of everybody today talking about my vagina. My pH is just off balance today. Girl, yes, bye. Line, your pH has been off balance since I've known you. You always smelling like somebody's red lobster. That's oh, a damn Pan, shame. Can you just tell everybody what happened in hell? Oh, we had a good time. Lots of papas, booty cheeks, and bodily fluids. Yes, Ew. but what about the Lost Boys, Petty Pan? Uh, I see what you're trying to do there, Yisma. You're trying to get me to say that Maleficent, Cruella, and I sacrificed the Lost Boys in hell. Maybe we did. And maybe we didn't. What happens in hell stays in hell. Not if there's video proof. And the petty audience has a right to From know. From my understanding, videos are not permitted in hell. It would be silly for Maleficent and Cruella to record such a thing. Right, Maleficent? <laughs> Right, Tremaine. Let's take a break. Oh, bitch, don't cry. I know you're hurt because of all the side hitches. My lord, it's that stole your man from you. And now he mine. Okay. That song is one of the latest songs off of our album, <coughs> Ratchet, Ratchet Halloween. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, any musical streaming service you like. Go get your life. And we're back. Um, look, petty audience, we're at a place right now where everybody is a crook and you're basically going to be picking the lesser of the three evils. Pretty much. Now, I ain't perfect, Maleficent ain't perfect, and Yisma damn show ain't perfect. But the thing that you have to do is decide who are you going to vote for. Well, I say we give everyone the ample opportunity to say why they would be the best fairy tale president. I like that idea. I'm all for it. Let's go then. Plead your case, bitches. I'm unapologetically black, loud, proud, and I will get the job done. I'm the best candidate for fairy tale president because I am the most informed. Vote for me for fairy tale president. But what are you going to do? Listen, fried chicken may be good to some, but fried chicken every day ain't good for you. Don't be fooled by the mess. Vote for me for fairy tale president. I shut on a bow by. Look, at the end of the day, by now, you know who you're voting for. I've showed you who I am time and time and time again. Fierce, fabulous, and things y'all will never understand, hoes. Let's make fairy tale land petty again. <laughs> but before we do that, I believe that the petty audience deserves a right to know what happened in hell. In order to do that, there would have to be video and there is none. Well, Cruella, remember that one time I said I wanted to try something different and praise him on high from above that you did. I told you you would get what was coming to you if you kept messing with me, Madame Coella Deville. There are laws in fairy tale land that prohibit you from releasing that tape. 
But even if you did, I have nothing to hide. Sounds like I need to go get my shotgun. No, <laughs> we all need to go get our lawyers. Okay. But before we go, everybody in the petty audience wants to know how they're going to vote for fairy tale president. You will be able to vote on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You will be able to cast your vote through comments by saying the person that you want to win the petty election. And if you want to start voting now, you you can start voting immediately in the comments below. With that being said, we hope that you're following everything that's Queen of the Ratchet. Till next time. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, very, very similar to what it's like in real life with the elections. Like all this rhetoric and all this, you know, bravado and what your fierce fabulous not it, but what the fuck are you gonna do? Like <laughs> Being informed, okay, what are you going to do with the information that you have? Being fierce and fabulous, are you going to take that and do fierce fabulous things for fairy tale land or for the, you know, don't get too political. But this was a good one. I do like what they said at the beginning about believing everything in the media. I don't understand this generation when they put something out there, no facts, no nothing, they speculate it and y'all run with it. And then somebody comes back in with receipts, proves it wrong, and y'all still choose to go with the false narratives and the fuckery. That was alleged at first. I don't know. I don't get that. But like, <laughs> this is a good one. It got me thinking about a lot of what we see today. It's super applicable. Even here we are, what, what two years later now? No, three years later. Not my bad. Three years later. <laughs> but yeah, super applicable. We love Queen of the Ratchet. Let me know your thoughts on it below. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time. Peace. Oh, oh.